Um, it's Friday, the 2nd of December. Happy Christmas season. Um, we're in Cyprus. We live in Kea, in the Paphos region of Cyprus. And this weekend we're doing lots of festive things, so I thought we would take you along with us. I'm working today, work from home. Um, I can show you my home office. And then this evening the festivities start, so we'll take you along to our meal out we've booked. Um, going to see some Christmas lights. Tomorrow I'm getting my hair done, so I'll take you along for that. Um, then we're going to go to some Christmas markets. And then on Sunday, in the afternoon, we're going to decorate the house for Christmas and put the tree up. So we'll have you join us for that as well. So I thought the weekend is just full of lovely things and Christmassy things. So I thought I'd show you what a festive weekend in Cyprus looks like. I hope you enjoy. December and this was still outside the front door. <laughs> I couldn't be bothered to carve it this year so we went witch upon a star and oh my god. Um, and we did get trick or treaters but it worked but uh, it's not even November it's December and this is still out there so I mean it survived really well. <laughs> it hasn't started moulding or dissolving at all. Anyway I'm gonna get rid of it now. my last meeting of the day wrapped up so I'm pretty much done with work I'm just going to go down and finish off some other work um, before getting ready to go out for our meal this evening um, it's today is my work's Christmas meal and we're mainly based in Oxford in England and so the team were all getting together in Oxford uh, to go out for a nice lunch and uh, just have a social afternoon and um, because I'm out here in Cyprus, um, I'm going to be going out for dinner this evening in place of that as a sort of Christmas do away from home. So uh, that's why we're going out this evening and I'm looking forward to taking you with us. Okay, ready to go out for our evening meal. We're going to the lodge, basic makeup, diaper print dress, nice and flowy and stretchy to eat lots of good food. Um, the lighting is awful because the sun's gone down, but we're going out. Okay, we're home. Uh, we've got our Tia Maria hot chocolates and a twirl to dip in them. Um, skincare is done, makeup was off immediately. And now we're on the sofa and we're going to have our Tia Maria hot chocolates with watching um, Wednesday on Netflix. We're thinking about watching the uh, Christmas special Guardians of the Galaxy this weekend, but that'll wait till tomorrow. And we're gonna sign off the vlog for today. 
and pick up and see you guys tomorrow. Morning. We're up, ready on Saturday morning. I'm going to go and get a coffee and a croissant, hopefully they have them, and um, then I'm going to go and get my hair done. So see this as the before and we'll see what it looks like after. I love it. We went for a warm, slightly warmer blonde, leaning into my natural warm tones. The lighting's not great. And went for some more layers on the front. I love it. Um, okay, so we're out again. We're on our way to the Aphrodite Hills Resort. Um, where they've got a Christmas market. See what it's all about. I'm hoping for mulled wine. I'm hoping for homemade Christmas decorations at the stalls and stuff. I'm hoping to see Santa. And I'm hoping as, as it gets dark, they'll have some really nice Christmas lights. So, yeah. It's cold! successful trip to the Christmas market. Um, I thought I'd show you what we got. This lady at Bespoke Expressions um, does personalised gifts and she had baubles and other like decorations that you can hang on the tree. Uh, we've got a couple of gifts for people which I won't show um, but this is one thing that we got for ourselves. I don't know if that's very interesting but it says Cypress 2022. Then there was a stall that um, was a cancer charity, I believe, and they had a bunch of notebooks and mugs that had designs on them that kids who are suffering with cancer had designed. Um, and we just thought this one was so cute with the giraffe with the glasses and the bow tie. Um, and then the other one was this beautiful uh, painting of two elephants. And so these two just stood out to us, and so we got them as gifts, actually. This lady did, like, digital drawings and framed them, and we're Star Wars fans, so we went for Baby Yoda. I think it's probably going to stand, stand up somewhere on uh, Insect's pockets. Um, oh, and then we came across a store where this lady had, like, handmade little beeswax creams for, like, moisturising your hands in the winter and stuff. And, um... We got two little minis, potentially as gifts, but also we might keep one for ourselves because it just smelled amazing. The smell's gone off my hand now, but it's got like herbs and oils from herbs that she grows in her own garden. Um, the last thing in this bag was this little card. I thought I'd pop that in my own smaller frame because um, I just think it's so beautiful. It is intended to be a, a, a card, but um, I'll just use it as art, I think. And then I think the last thing to show you was from this candle. I think I actually filmed um, some of their stall. They had moulded candles that as soon as you walk past their stall, you've got like a whiff of this gorgeous, like 
warm, biscuity, vanilla-y flavour um, flavor scent. They're called Bloom Candles and they had all these Christmassy ones. So we've got some wax melts and then we also treated ourselves to a new candle because we always like to have a nice smelly candle on the coffee table. So Bloom Candles. What was the name of the sweets that the Cypriot sweet? It's like a Cypriot sweet biscuit that's kind of cinnamony. Maybe some cloves and vanilla in there. And then there was one of these, and there was a cookie flavour and a vanilla flavour, but we went for this one. And it's just so festive and gorgeous and sparkly. And it's really nice. We actually ended up seeing some friends there. My hair hairdresser, um, who you actually will have seen in the vlog earlier, Natalia. Um, she was there with her boyfriend Chris and so it was nice we had some dinner together and some more wine and it just felt very festive which is quite rare in Cyprus it being so hot and sunny majority of the year so it's nice to feel festive um so yeah that's what we got at the Christmas market. I'm actually going to wrap up the vlog for today and um we'll see you tomorrow for Christmas decorating. Oh yeah and actually this evening we're going to continue the Christmassy theme and we're going to watch the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special. Morning. Hi. Hi baby. Happy Sunday. Hi. Good morning. So um, I've just had my breakfast, so I don't want to do a workout straight away, I want to let my food go down. So I put some laundry on and we have some options, either I do a bit of work, which I was planning to do later, or we go to the local market and the florist, pick up a few bits that I want to get for decorating the house for Christmas, um, or I just start getting the Christmas decorations out and um, Zach's having a lion and isn't up yet so he can't go to the market yet. And I just don't want to do my work yet. So that leaves us with getting the Christmas decorations out. Um, this guy was here when we got here. We, we rent this house, so um, it would the landlady kindly put out some Christmas decorations when we arrived because we moved in in December um, and I hated him at first, <laughs> that was so creepy, but now I'm kind of liking him. This is great because I'm forgetting what we had and then you unwrap everything after a whole year and you're like oh I forgot who even had all that stuff so I think we're gonna have some fun decorating.
I was bringing all of this upstairs, the camera died. So whilst it was charging, I did some work, did my workout, which uh, you will see. And yeah, I just wanted to show you what we've got. So it doesn't look like much, but I think I just packed everything up very cleverly last year um, and used space well. So I think that there's more in the boxes than what it looks like. There are a few areas of the house that I want to decorate. The main area is the living room. That's where the tree is going to be. And I've got some surfaces that I want to put some nice ornaments on. The entranceway has a console table and I want to decorate that. And so before we do that, I'm going to go have a shower, it's done my workout, have a bite to eat, and then um, show you decorating. We were thinking about going to local market today uh, just to see if they had any other Christmassy bits, but we felt like we had our Christmas market fill yesterday um, and I was also thinking about going to our local florist to get some poinsettias, I might be saying that wrong, poinsettias, uh, but they're closed today because it's Sunday so maybe I'll go tomorrow. Um, yeah, that's the update. Found yourself a new little bed, huh? They can't be comfortable. That's the garland in there. Surely it's spiky. Oh my girl. first. Putting the tree up is kind of the boring bit. <laughs> Decorating it is the fun bit and also putting the lights on it is probably the worst bit. I want to do the dining room like centerpiece thing. I've got an idea of what I want to do with that including the berry sticks and some pine cones that I've got. The grapefruit slices are still in the oven. They're far from being dried out and they've been in there for about 25 minutes now. So I think they're on a low heat, but I think they'll need a couple of hours. I think let's get the tree up. No, I'm going to clear the console tables. sun is out, it's warm, it's a warm winter day in Cyprus so excuse the no jumper but this is another um, area of the living room that I want to decorate but it'd be nice to have some more festive vibes so maybe bringing in some gold and red and whatnot so I'm gonna do that now.
Okay, update, it is golden hour. Um, the tree still isn't up. <laughs> I've done a number of different corners of the living area. I've done my dining room centerpiece thing with the pine cones, the berries. The grapefruits are still drying. Um, I've done the coffee table center basket thing. Um, and I think it's now time to do the tree and I'm gonna get Zach to help me with that. Um, it's a bit of a mess. <laughs> But you gotta make a mess to make something beautiful first, hey? So we've just finished fluffing up the branches and I heard that you, if you bring the branches up a bit and back down so they sort of look like they're drooping a little bit rather than sort of just stuck out into the middle of nowhere. It makes the tr fake trees look a little bit more realistic in terms of the way the branches are hanging. So I hope that we've managed to achieve that. But then that all goes to pot when you end up wanting to hang a decoration on it and you kind of need it to go up so that it hangs in the right place. But there we are. Okay, one thing I'm very grateful for is that last year we wrapped the lights around this cardboard piece and washi taped them so that now we can just unravel them as we put them on the tree and they're not tangled, which saves us a lot of time. Okay, the grapefruits have now come out the oven. I think they're probably dry enough. They are, some of the chunkier ones are still a little bit soft, but the um, thin ones are definitely, definitely done. Okay, that's gonna wrap up the vlog. That was our festive weekend in Cyprus. I hope you enjoyed seeing what we got up to. Um, hopefully it felt festive. When the sun's out and it's warm and you're in a Mediterranean country, it, it's quite hard to feel Christmassy, but hopefully, particularly the uh, decorating part um, felt festive. I'm really happy with the decorations we've got up so far, and we've still got the wreath and the garland to go, and some fairy lights to go up the banister. Um, but yeah, I'll probably just get those done in the next week. We've only got a few weeks to enjoy them because on Boxing Day we're actually going away for a while, um, but at least we'll have three weeks to enjoy them and the house does feel very festive so thanks for joining thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it and maybe i'll be back with another vlog who knows mm -hmm.